Okay, so in this section, section two, we're going to talk about two very important properties that we use to help us solve equations or even help us to simplify expressions. And these two properties only apply to addition, or, um, to addition and multiplication. So let's go ahead and let's write them out. The first one is going to be the commutative property. So, oh. <clears throat> so let me write this out. C O M M. And like I said, these only apply for addition and multiplication. So here's the addition commutative property. And what the addition commutative property says is if A and B are real numbers, comma, then a plus B is the same thing as B plus A. In other words, the order in which you are adding does not matter as long as we keep the signs in front of the numbers the same. So in red off to the side, I'm just going to put a little star as like a little note that just says keep the signs in front of the numbers the same. Okay, and then underneath, we'll just do like a little example here. So if I started off with 3 plus 7 and I asked you to apply the commutative property, what you would write would be 7 plus 3. All you do is just reverse the order and everything is still okay because when you think about it, <clears throat> now I can erase that arrow, 3 plus 7 is 10, 7 plus 3 is 10, and we know 10 equals 10, Okay. Another example of this could look something like this. Negative 1 plus 3 is going to equal, according to the commutative property of addition, 3 plus negative 1. Okay? So the key here is, remember, keep the signs in front of the numbers the same. All right? Um, for part B, this is going to be the multiplication commutative property. So it starts off the same if A and B are real numbers, then A times B is the same thing as B times A. And this still applies keeping the signs in front of the numbers are the same. It still applies no matter what. Okay. So for example, here, 4 times 9 is going to be the same exact thing as 9 times 4, because when you think about 4 times 9, it's 36, and 9 times 4 is 36. So order doesn't matter when we're multiplying, as long as you keep the signs in front of the numbers the same. Now, let me give you another example here where those signs, they, they actually mean something here, okay? So 3 times negative 4 is going to be the same thing as negative 4 times 3 because when you think about it 3 times negative 4 is negative 12 and negative 4 times positive 3 is also negative 12 okay and they match so that's what you really got to be careful of all right now here is an example where we can see this commutative property fails and let's see and I'm going to write here I'm going to write just fails so you know so let's see if you can find my mistake okay So there, th this is an example where it fails, okay? So if hopefully you can see my mistake that I made, which is this. Notice on the left-hand side, the 7 was positive, and this 3, the sign in front of the 3 was negative. However, when I chose to write it on the right-hand side, notice that the 3 is now positive, and the 7 is now negative. See, I didn't, I didn't pay attention to my signs here. And that's why the commutative property for subtraction fails. So you got to be extremely careful, okay? You got to be extremely careful when you are using this commutative property. And the key is, once again, the sign in front of the number, okay? That's crucial, all right? 
So the uh, the next property I want to go over are the associative properties. So here's our next property here. And there's two of them here. Okay, so the, and they both start off the same way. So I'm just going to write it like this. I'm going to write if A, B, and C are real numbers, then, all right, and here's the first one. This is the associative property of addition. And what this says is we don't care about grouping. as long as you are adding. So in other words, if I group A and B, that means I have to add A and B first, and then I take that result and add C. Well, on the other side of the equal sign, notice that the grouping is on the B and the C, but it doesn't matter, okay? Grouping doesn't matter. because we are adding. So let me give you an example here. So well, I'll pick easy numbers. Two plus three plus five, and then we'll do two plus three plus five. So notice that uh, all, of my, all of my numbers line up accordingly. It's just the grouping is a little bit different, okay? So according to the, our order of operations, we need to do two plus three first. So that's gonna be five plus five, and we know five plus five is 10. Now, on the right-hand side, I know I gotta do the grouping first, so three plus five is gonna be eight, and then two plus eight is also 10. So notice you still get the same exact result. It doesn't matter about the grouping. Now, there is a second associative property, and it is for multiplication. Okay, now multiplication starts off the same way, so that's why I have it written above at the top of your screen. If A, B, and C are real numbers, then... And let me write it out. There we go. So hopefully here you can see that the grouping is different. On the, on the left-hand side of the equal sign, the grouping is around the A and the B. And on the right-hand side of the equal sign, the grouping is around the B and the C. However, it doesn't matter because we're multiplying. Let me show you. I'm going to use the same numbers that I did above. So we have 2 times 3 times 5, and then 2 times 3 times 5 again. But notice that the groupings are different. So let's go ahead and let's, let's do this. According to the order of operations, 2 times 3 has to be done first. So I get 6 times 5, and we know 6 times 5 is 30. Now, on the right-hand side, 5 times 3 is going to be 15. And then 2 times 15 is also 30. So notice when you're multiplying or adding, the associative property says we don't care how you group it because it's, you're going to end up getting the same exact answer anyways. Okay? So honestly, that is really it for this section. It's a very small section, and it just deals with those two properties. Now, the reason why those two properties are so important is because these two things right here, like 3x minus 7 and negative 7 plus 3x, these are the same. And they're the same because of the commutative property. All right? Remember, <clears throat> you always want to take the sign in front of the number. The 3x on the left-hand side, I'm going to put an arrow to it is positive and notice over here on the on the right hand side it's still positive on the left hand side the seven is negative and on the right hand side it's still negative that's the most important part you can rearrange these terms however you want as long as you keep the sign in front of the number the same and that's going to be it for this one the next video is uh probably one of the most important properties that we use all the time, and it's called the distributive property. So I'll see you in that video. Bye.